So we have a definite integral and it has an absolute value. So usually when this happens, we have to get rid of the absolute value using the definition. Recall the absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to zero and minus x if x is less than zero. In this case, it's not x, it's two x minus seven. So using the definition on two x minus seven, we end up with, let's see, two x minus seven. And this will be true if two x minus seven is greater than or equal to zero. That's the same thing as saying that x is greater than or equal to seven halves. And it'll be minus two x minus seven if two x minus seven is less than zero. That's the same thing as saying that x is less than seven halves. So this gives us a clear way to break up the definite integral. So we have the definite integral from zero to seven of the absolute value of two x minus seven dx. And this will be equal to, well, let's see, we're gonna break it up from zero to seven halves. So zero to seven halves. And we know that when x is between zero and seven halves, um, it's this. So it'll be minus two x, let's go ahead and distribute the minus sign, plus seven, parentheses, and then dx. Plus, and then from seven halves, to seven, uh, we're looking at this case, x is bigger than seven halves, so it'll simply be two x minus seven. So parentheses, two x minus seven dx. And here's where it gets uh, kind of messy. So to integrate this, we'll just use the power rule. So this will be negative two x squared over two, and then seven integrates to seven x. And this one is being evaluated from zero to seven halves, plus, and then this one, same deal, 2x squared over two, not sure why I put it in parentheses, minus seven x, and this one's being integrated from seven halves to seven. Let's try to be really careful here. So these guys cancel, and first we have to plug in the seven halves. So this is gonna be equal to, let's see, minus seven halves squared plus seven times seven halves. Then we're supposed to subtract and plug in zero, but when we do that, everything fortunately is zero. So minus zero plus, that's this plus here. And these twos cancel as before. Uh, we'll plug in this number first. So seven, so seven squared minus um, seven times seven, nice. Minus and then parentheses and then plug in the seven halves. So that's going to be uh, seven halves squared and then minus seven times seven halves. Uh, pretty, pretty messy. Let's hope this cleans up nicely. I haven't done this problem yet. Um, this is minus and then you square the seven, you get 49. You square the two, you get four. And here we get seven times seven, so 49 over two. This is seven squared, this is seven squared, so these guys cancel. And then here we have minus and this is gonna be 49 over four. So 49 over four. And this will be uh, a positive 49 over two. So plus 49 over two. So this is equal to, let's see, we have negative 49 over four and we have negative 49 over four. So we have negative two of them. So negative two times 49 over four. And then we have 49 halves plus 49 halves, so that's gonna give us uh, 49. So this is equal to, these cancel, that becomes a two, so this is negative 49 halves plus 49. And we can think of this as two over two times 49, and this is negative one over two times 49, so this is one half times 49, or simply 49 over two. I suppose you could use a calculator, but I don't have one nearby. Hopefully that made sense.